Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Minnesota Twins preview video, Minnesota Twins discussion. And we're going to be talking about the next series. Obviously, that's what this is. But let's go review what just happened. So we just took three of four in Tampa Bay, which is absolutely great. We've proven we can beat good teams in the past. We continue to beat good teams or at least split with them as in Milwaukee. We are eight straight series now with not a loss, with a tie, a split, or winning obviously uh, we've done good i love this we're playing 40 and 18 baseball that's fantastic and now we get to face a couple of teams that are under 500 in fact our next 12 games will be against teams that are under 500 or at 500 i guess because what is cleveland at 500 i think 29 and 30 so yeah very close to 500 but that's great. I mean, this these are teams that we should theoretically be able to beat up on. And and you saw my June predictions video yesterday. Go check that out if you haven't. I go through the entire month. I think I said in that video we should take two of three from Cleveland. And I do think that we can take two of three. I don't think that is unreasonable. And the reason being, I just don't know if... Not just for the Cleveland series, but for the entire month, are we going to stay as hot as we did in May? I want to, right? But I did say we'd win, what, 17, 18 games? A little bit lower than our toughest month of May, but we were playing some hot baseball. Now we get into some teams, you know, back to the AL Central where it is, you know, they're not the greatest teams, but they're going to play you tough. They know how you, they know how you pitch. They know who's playing. They're going to play you tough. And especially when we have to go to Cleveland, Detroit, and Kansas City here in June, it's not going to be the easiest. So even though they're playing below 500, we still have to play our best baseball. And that starts tonight, right? So we get some good matchups versus uh, Cleveland tonight. And I said we'll take two of three. I really believe that, but we could easily. I mean, not easily, but we could take the sweep. Smeltzer is on the mound tonight, not Perez. So this is very interesting. I'm going to drop my phone. Um, but so we, when we played Tampa Bay, or even back to Milwaukee, we put Smeltzer in there, who did very well versus Milwaukee. We put him in there to give Perez an extra day off. All right? We, Perez struggled a little bit versus Tampa Bay. He also struggled against the Angels a little bit. Uh, he was able to get out of that situation. But he also struggled against, uh, who was it, the Orioles? Was it way back at Houston? Whenever he, I think it was the Orioles, after he had another day off, right? So they keep pushing him back a day. I don't know if that is necessarily, you know, affecting him, but it just appears that he's the guy who keeps getting bumped. And that's just unfortunate. But as with the day off yesterday, they're putting Smeltzer out there against Bieber today. Perez versus Carrasco, which is a great matchup as well. And then Barrios versus Bauer. That's that's going to be a good one. Um, so I'm very excited for that one, in fact. But it's it's just interesting to see. You know, as I said, Smeltzer did very good against Milwaukee. It pushed Perez back. Perez struggled. Not saying he will again, you know. But to push him back another day versus Cleveland, I just don't know if that's the right move. And I was under the impression since, you know, Tampa Bay was the four game set and we had four pitchers at the time because, you know, Smelter had just pitched, Pineda was on the IL. You've got your best four guys out there. You've got Perez, then you've got Barrios, then you've got Gibson, and of course, Odorizzi. Then we had a day off. So I was like, okay, that's technically Smelter's day. Let's go to the next day where it's Perez, then Barrios, then Gibson against Cleveland. I don't know if it's because of the matchups or if it's because, you know, he thinks Smelter's going to do good. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it's not that I don't like the move. I just think it's, you know, you're pushing Perez back again. Is that the game we're going to lose now because of, of his past after being pushed back a day? I don't know. But I think we'll take two of three. If we lose one, I think it'll be the Perez game because he'll get pushed back. But let's just jump into the matchups quick. So let's go to Bieber. Bieber is uh, Shane Bieber. 3-6-7 ERA, 2-4 record, 85 strikeouts, a whip of 1. Very good for him. And he is going to get another tough opponent with Smeltzer tonight. 
But if we look at his last couple of games, he's on a three-game winning streak. Two of them, he actually got the win in. The one versus Tampa Bay, he did not. He's played some tough teams in Baltimore. Baltimore, excuse me, which is not... I mean, that was the easiest one. They won 10 to nothing. But then Tampa Bay and Boston in Boston. So some good games right there. And he was able to win. He actually went uh, the full nine in, uh, in, in the Baltimore game. Then he's pitched five in the other two. He's given up six runs, one earned run, um, and no earned runs in the Baltimore game. So his last three, obviously a little bit shaky, but the Twins are not Baltimore, I tell you that. So we definitely are able. We've done well. We're able to, to you know get on top of Bieber. I think we've seen him before, right? Did we see him in Minnesota at the beginning of the season? Maybe not. Um, I think that's because... Kluber got hurt. So, obviously, Kluber is not being back yet. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how Bieber does. Again, Smeltzer, who, who was one start in the majors, did not get the win, but had seven strikeouts, a whip of .5. Uh, doesn't even have a picture on ESPN. Uh, but it is one game, pitched six innings, gave up three hits, seven strikeouts, no earned runs. So, very, very good. I hope he can do that again tonight. Let's go to the next matchup, Carrasco. We all know that Carrasco is a thorn in our freaking side, just like everybody else in the Cleveland Indians. But they've got a good pitching staff. Unfortunately, Kluber's hurt, like I mentioned. So, let's go to let's go to Carrasco. He's got a five ERA. Not the same guy he was last year um, or any other year, I guess. But it all matters on the team they've got behind them. They don't have a team behind them. Um, so, He's 4-6 and six with 79 strikeouts, a whip of 1.3. Yeah, he has just not had a good couple of games. He's faced Oakland, Tampa Bay, and the White Sox. He's gone 5 or 6 innings in each of those games, but given up at least 3 earned runs in those 3 losses. Um, and it was 3-5-6 and six against the White Sox, so not a very good team there. We are very capable of winning this game. This is the game with Perez, but you know, it just matters on if he's going to show up as well. Um, not that he's not going to show up and at least try, but just that extra day off, it always, you know, can mess with you. So Perez, 3.71 ERA, 7-2 record, 59 strikeouts, a whip of 1.4. He got the loss against Tampa Bay, but then one against the Angels, one against Seattle. He's also played three straight games on the road, so he's got another one on the road. And, and you know, I guess that's just the way the cards fall, but... <laughs> that, I, I don't know what else to tell you about that. Uh, he's done okay on the road except for the Tampa Bay game. I think it's going to be interesting to see how he pitches. I think he'll do well, but I think that's the game we do lose. If uh, Carrasco's due for a good game, right? So that might be the game we lose if, if Perez gets hit around a little bit. I hope not, but you know what happens. It's baseball. So, And finally, uh, what is it? Thursday's game. Very, very excited for this one. Uh Trevor Bauer versus Jose Barrios. 3.87 record or ERA for Bauer, a 4 and 5 record for him and 96 strikeouts with a whip of 1.1. He's also coming off of three straight losses to those same teams. Um, he was doing very well at the beginning of the season but then has really struggled. He's given up uh, I mean even even going back to the Baltimore game, he gave up seven earned runs and he's given up four, three and two. Uh, in five, six, and seven innings in, in you know, order of games. I don't think that we, we will lose to Bauer as soon as we start knocking him around a little bit, as we, we've shown we can do with other teams. He gets a little frustrated and, you know, starts overthrowing or underthrowing, whatever. We start beating up on him a little bit. I think that's very possible. But Barrios, he does give up a couple runs a game. Um, he's been very good as of late, but... He does give up some runs. Uh, he went 4.2 innings in that Seattle game we all know about. Only gave up four earned runs, but literally couldn't get that last out. Um, and then against the White Sox, did very good. Only gave up one earned run. And Tampa Bay gave up three. Got the win in all three of those games. Or the team did. He only got the decision in one of them being the White Sox game. Uh, but he's 7-2 and two with a 3.27 ERA. 72 strikeouts, a whip of 1.1. Very comparable guys. Both guys are very good. Um, when they can be, when they're on, they are lights out. I hope that game is a pitching duel um, like it was the beginning of the season when Barrios was pitching with Kluber. 
I want to see another, you know, two to zero game, except for I want us to score three runs so we keep that streak alive. Uh, but I'll, I'll take a three to two game. That'll be great. You know, a walk off three to two game. Oh, just kidding. We're away. Just kidding. Not a walk off, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I would like to see a very nice pitching duel. Uh, out of those two guys, as long as we get the win for it, of course. So that's all I got for you today. It's it's only a three-game series in Cleveland, and then we head to Detroit uh, for the weekend. But it's going to be fun. I think this would be a very good series. We get the chance to put Cleveland back a little bit more um, as the White Sox hopefully can win, and then they'll lose again for a while, and we can keep going up. Um, that's great. But we got some tough pitching matchups, and I'm not going to say we're going to win every game, but as it is Cleveland in Cleveland against some good pitchers. So I hope we can get some some – some wins i hope we sweep but uh, other than that you know it's gonna be a fun series and i hope we can keep mashing home runs so that's all good devin smelter good luck tonight i hope you get your second or your first win uh in the majors and uh, we'll go from there and i'll see you guys for the game review